with the KX News Storm Team. Yeah, before I get into the actual weather details, I wanted to show you the uh, latest ND DOT road report uh, because the road conditions are likely not going to improve much, if at all, over the night. And so tomorrow morning, if you have to do any traveling, uh, this will kind of give you a head start. And I would definitely uh, get an updated look at the road report. You can do that on the KX Storm Team weather app. Just open the app and swipe up, and uh, it'll, it'll show up. You don't have to go to your computer or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can see all this yellow here around the Bismarck and Mandan area. Uh, that would be scattered ice still on the roads. Now, this is showing green up around Minot, but I can tell you the roads are still pretty slick. These are just normal winter conditions. In the Bakken, looks like some uh, scattered ice on the roads as well. And there's some other spots that have scattered snow. That would be the purple color. Again, tomorrow morning, if you have to do any traveling anywhere, uh, you just check out the latest uh, road report map just to be sure. Now, let's uh, go ahead and check out the weather headlines. Because some of us, and right now, it's, this will be generally around I-94, maybe a little bit north of that, should get most of the snow tonight. It won't be heavy, but it's still snow. But this is a very light and dry uh, type of snow. I mean, very, very little moisture in it. Quite often you hear the phrase, oh yeah, if we get uh, one inch of moisture equals 10 inches of snow. That's not the case right now. The atmosphere is set up more like 20 to 1. So it takes very little moisture to get, you know, some measurable snow. Now it's really powdery. It's really, you know, feathery. It would blow away very easily. And that's the other issue is it's going to be between getting cold, the wind is going to return. And when that wind returns, it's going to be blowing uh, three days worth of very light snow that's starting to add up a little bit. It's going to be blowing all around. That's going to make things slick. It's also going to drop our wind chills. You're really going to notice the wind chills at some point on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, and over the weekend. Uh, you're definitely going to notice that. 16 degrees in Bismarck now. The wind chill is now 7 degrees above zero. And Minot's temperature is 13. And the uh, wind chill actually improved from KX News at 9. This said, I think, minus 8. Now it's uh, improved to minus 1 uh, in, uh, for the wind chill. So looking at other temperatures across western North Dakota, mostly uh, teens and uh, uh, single digits and kind of a spread in the temperatures here. Uh, the wind is roughly 5 to 15 miles an hour, and so not terribly windy. The wind is going to be picking up. So right now, most of the snow, southern part of the state, and that's not very heavy. Now, I've jumped ahead to uh, Wednesday morning here, and uh, the legend here, you see that yellow color and then this color here? So remember, we're going to have some snow on Wednesday, it looks like, and that's going to be really light snow uh, blowing around a little bit. By uh, Wednesday night, it's uh, going to be getting colder. Wind chills are really going to kick in some spots, maybe not everybody, but some spots 10 to 20 below wind chills. Thursday, look at the colors here. These are even stronger winds, and it could still snow a little bit. But again, that really light snow is going to blow around. We might be looking at a few travel impacts because of the blowing snow. Kind of remains to be seen, but you really are going to start noticing the wind chills midweek, so plan on dressing accordingly. Next 72 hours for Dickinson, there's that wind and nighttime lows, single digits, sometimes above, sometimes below zero. Here's a look at Williston's uh, forecast. So tonight, uh, some temperatures will be a little bit below zero, some a little bit above. And then for tomorrow, mostly teens. Here's a look at the Bismarck seven day outlook and boy, it is going to stay cold. I wish I could tell you I saw a big, I see a big warming trend before Thanksgiving. I just don't yet. So maybe it'll happen, but I just don't see it yet. We wish you'd tell us that too, Tom. Thank you very much.